Voila. That should have fixed the walkway.
Monsieur Laclos was the Duc d'Orléans' faithful retainer. He was to prepare the way for his takeover, and now he has become one of the king's most bloodthirsty automats. How ironic.
Look how you're alive. A platoon. Ready. Fire! Fire at will! Oh, Senor. Oh, we can't stop them. They're upon us. Fixed bayonets. Fixed bayonets! The fighting has stopped. It's over. Voyez? The Huntress Diana appeared to us. She's the one who saved you. But the troops... Where are the troops? You are the only survivor, Leclerc. No. No. We were so close. But... those machines... An entire battalion would have been unable to defeat them. We were forced to retreat. Chased into these tunnels by the automats. It was madness to attempt an attack on the Bastille. You're wrong. I'm a military man. It was a bold maneuver, but it was a calculated risk. After all, that old fortress is a pile of stones with no buffers, curtain walls, or bastions. As for its garrison, our agents were certain. Only a handful of veterans should have been there. A single charge should have sufficed to disperse them. But the king made other arrangements. He increased the fortress's defenses and placed a swarm of automats at the service of a terrible machine. Why did you launch this attack? Three of our companions were held captive in the fortress. Our best agents. Agents? Spies, if you prefer. We, the supporters of the Duc d'Orléans, have always worked in the shadows, within the Queen's entourage, in the tribunes of the Estates General, among the Patriots in the clubs, amidst the rank and file in the army. We have had some success, you have to admit. What machinations have you discovered? Enough to make Monsieur Marat's ink flow and bring down our rivals. Necker's speculations, Lafayette's dishonorable behavior, Mirabeau's corruption, and many darker secrets. Tell me about this machine that guards the Bastille. We were prepared to face an enemy, not an executioner. That thing, half butcher's block, half stocks, was designed to make heads roll. Who captured you, monsieur? There was some confusion in the fray, but Cagliostro was in charge. He was the one who ordered me to be shut up in that coffin. Then I was thrown into that awful place where I lost consciousness. After that, everything is a series of blurred visions with a voice that ordered me to kill again and again. I intend to enter the Bastille and free Monsieur de Vaucanson. For what possible reason, mon dieu? She claims that he's the only one who can stop the machines. Indeed, it's possible. In that case, if you're ready to face the abomination that blocked my path and slaughtered my lieutenants, then don't waste a second. Let's not stay here much longer, Marat. Let's head back to our burrow. There's still some wine left in this part. More than enough, Leclerc. More than enough. Wonderful. We'll drink to our broken dreams until this finally comes to an end.
Here you are at last. This is where the path to the Bastille begins. And to think, I would have never thought you'd make it this far. Cependant, I would advise you not to rush. The fighting in these tunnels has weakened the structure. If you go in there, I'm afraid you won't be able to turn back. Delor, I have just one bit of advice to give you. Before going any further, make sure you're not leaving behind any unfinished business. Any commitments that you have not fully met. I shall return to my hiding place. In these unsure times, you can never be too careful. Ne croyez-vous pas?